good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone so today i got galaxy note 9 and uh, i have already updated my galaxy note 9 the exynos chipset from android 10 to android 30 and to one ui 5.21 so my device is dual sim variant and uh, model number if you can see 980f this is not the Galaxy Note 9 model number. Basically, the ROM that I have already installed is ported from Galaxy Note 20 Ultra for Galaxy Note 9 for Exynos chipset. The device is updated One UI 5.1 Android version 13. How exactly to do this? You need to watch this video, follow the steps and you will get this ported updated ROM on your Galaxy Note 9. Now the most important thing of this procedure is to have an unlock bootloader of your Galaxy Note 9 and also is to have the custom recovery. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader and how to flash the custom recovery, I will leave the tutorial video link in my video description. You can watch that video, follow the steps, unlock the bootloader, flash the TWRP recovery and then come back, follow the further steps of flashing the One UI version 5.1 and Y13 ported ROM on Galaxy Note 9. My device is already having an unlock boot loader and already having the custom recovery. Now, if you are getting help by these videos of my channel, then you can appreciate me by subscribing my channel, click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all and also like the video, share it with others thank you i appreciate it now these are the files which are required for flashing this is the patch twrp this is the rom file ported rom file the call setting fix which will be which will be flash after booting the rom and these two files require for to flash in twrp one more thing that uh, all the links are provided in my video description just make a new folder on your computer hard drive and download all these files check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum you must save all your internal storage data make a backup of your call history or contacts or SMS because or whatsapp everything because this procedure will format everything you must turn off the lock screen by selecting the swipe now, in case if you are having accounts like Google account, Samsung account or any other account, you need to sync your Google account to once then must remove it and same way sync all your other accounts like Samsung or any other account, sync it once and must remove it. So you must be having the stock firmware of Galaxy Note 9 that must be Android 10. Do not try to flash this ported ROM if your set is on Android 9. 9. The uh, Galaxy Note 9 must be on Android 10. Powering off the mobile phone first. Check the other side of data cable must be connected with computer. Connect the cable with the mobile phone and mobile phone must be power off. The mobile phone will start getting charged. After when you see the mobile phone started charging, you need or I need to boot my mobile phone into custom recovery. For that, we need to press and hold the volume up key, then Bixby key and then power key. Press it hold until the custom recovery screen appears. Wait when you see a Samsung logo, release the power key first and then when you see the custom recovery screen, then release the other both keys. The custom recovery appears and I have released the volume up key and Bixby key. Definitely you will see an internal storage on your computer screen of your mobile phone. We'll go back to my downloaded folder and we'll copy the patch twrp file from the downloaded folder and then we'll paste it on my mobile phone internal storage. Okay, now coming back towards the mobile phone screen, tap install and scroll down. You will see the file patch twrp select first tap to select the file and then swipe to start to flashing when it is done then go back to main screen and then tap reboot 
and tap recovery. We need to reboot the recovery now. So when the recovery got booted, now the most important thing you have to make a backup of your current firmware, whatever firmware you have. Now, if you want to make a backup, then just tap on the main screen on backup. Then you can select the partitions that you think it should be backup. Like if I want, I will tap the system image, then vendor image, ODM image, scroll down, piece band and EFS. After selecting these partitions, then I will swipe to start backing up. When the backup get finished, then come back to the main screen. Coming back towards the computer screen, I will go to my downloaded folder and this time I will copy the repartitioner file from the downloaded folder and will paste that file on my mobile phone internal storage. Done. Coming back towards the mobile phone screen, tap install on the main screen of recovery, then scroll down and tap to select the universal 9810 repartitioner and then swipe. The mobile phone will automat automatically reboot to recovery once again. Just wait for it. Here we go. Recovery screen got appears once again. So, uh, swipe to allow the modification. And this time, just tap on the wipe section, then format data and type Y, E, S and tap here. When done, then go back to the main screen, tap reboot, tap recovery. It is saying no operating system installed, doesn't matter, just swipe to reboot. Once again, swipe to allow modification. Coming back towards the computer screen. We'll go to downloaded folder and this time I will copy the universal 9810 cleaner file and we'll go back to my internal storage of my mobile phone. We'll paste that file over here. Done. Now coming back towards the mobile phone screen. Tap install. Then tap to select the file cleaner file and then swipe. The mobile phone will auto reboot and will restart will be rebooting to recovery once again. Once again, if you see swipe to allow modification, then do it swipe to allow the modification. And now this time I will come back to my computer screen once again. Now this time I will copy uh, the ROM file, the Noble ROM 3.6 from the downloaded folder or from computer and will go back to my internal storage of my mobile phone and we'll paste that file over here. After copying the ROM file on the mobile internal storage, I will come back to the mobile phone screen. So I have to unlock the screen first, then we'll tap the settings. We'll go to third menu and we'll make the screen time out to maximum. We'll make the brightness little bit to maximum. Then we'll go back to the main tab install. The ROM file name, you can see that. Just uh, tap to select the file name and to swipe to start flushing. Now just wait here. We have to do few more things over here. And what is that? Okay, if you want to read, you can read all these things. Right, you have to read carefully and check. Then you can tap the next it will go further must select the clean install then tap next now on this screen we have to select the csc based on our country now i will look for my country and in case if you could not find your country code here then you can select uh, like uh, your neighbor country i can see my country over here i will tap to select and then tap next make your rom choose what to keep and what to debloat. If you want, you can select advance and you can go further, select the things that you want to have on your ROM. But I will go for the no debloat. So tap next and here you can see that increase image quality to 200 years. Enable multi-user, yes, okay. Disable SPCM app killer, no, tap next. Choose CSC tweaks to get applied. Camera during call. Yes. Camera shutter. Yes. SMS to MMS conversion. No need. More SMS option. You can, if you want, just tap to unlock it. 
call blocking yes i want this network speed yes lte only yes show five signals far yeah i like it it is an app protection yes call recorder definitely i want to go for that after selecting my selection then i will tap next to move forward and bixby button okay remapper this is like if well, this button what should do if you pressing it you can select these things so i will keep the thing default next do you want to enable dex mode on phone's display if you leave this yes then the the dex uh, samsung dex will get open on your mobile phone but in case if you don't want like if you want to dex should be work with the external lcd then you can go for the no you can watch this uh, this uh, practical thing on my review video link provided in my video description choose the level of animations whatever you want you can select and go further do you want to install good lock okay leave it like this choose the boot animation no boot animation s9 note 9 s21 boot animation noble boot animation i will go for the noble boot animation and stock uh, font pack no i will select the other one and uh, yes samsung emojis tap next now here are some important things that we have to select choose routing method must leave matches do not select these two must leave matches if you want to have a root otherwise if you do not want to root then just tap the no root right banking and other apps may not work if you are going for no root but if you are going for root then must select the matches application now here fake enforcing or permissive leave default do you need green lines display fix if you want if you are having a trouble with green lines then you can go for yes otherwise if your set is okay like mine one then you can go with the no now do you want the overclock cpus yes and uh, do you want in to enable home button yes do you want to install kernel manager yes yes i want for games choose the z ram compression level just leave it default then tap next the installation will start it just wait for it now right script succeeded tap next it will go back to recovery screen then swipe to unlock and then tap reboot system mobile phone galaxy note 9 will wait or will stuck on this logo screen for few seconds then soon the mobile phone will start booting to android 13 one ui 5.1 the first boot will take a little time finally we the rom got booted first boot complete complete the setup screen just notice that i have this not disconnect the cable from the mobile phone finally rom got flash very perfectly so the cable is already connected now phone is asking me to allow access to phone data yes i will tap allow so the internal storage of mobile phone will get appears on the computer screen we'll go back to downloaded folder and this time i will copy call setting fix file from the downloaded folder and will paste that file in internal storage of my mobile phone and after that we are done from the computer now disconnect the cable from mobile phone and now we'll go to mobile phone settings to show that same thing over here we'll tap to software information and we got the one ui 5.1 and y13 on my galaxy note 9 exynos chipset connect the mobile phone with internet if you have wifi connect wifi or either if you have data then turn on the mobile data now go to menu and tap the magis icon which is not proper but just tap to start installing it tap okay downloading just wait and when the magis updating procedure gets finish you will see the magis icon and you can now open the magis application by tapping the icon and uh, definitely the pop up window will get appears on your screen just read it your device needs to reflash the magis uh, to work properly just tap cancel every time you open the magis application this thing will get appears just tap cancel every time now go to module section 
and definitely you will see two things over here right go back to home then tap settings then scroll down and uh, turn on the Zai just uh, over here then turn on the enforce deny list right go back then tap here then tap reboot to recovery we have to do one more thing when the recovery screen appears just swipe to allow modification tap install then to scroll down you will see the file over here tap to select the file then swipe and when it is done then tap, just tap reboot system so the mobile phone will boot back will start booting back to the noble rom of one ui 5.1 Unlocking the screen, tap to open the Magis application. Again, tap cancel. Here you can see that you need to grant the permission by tapping the grant here. Then now go to module section and this time you will see both the modules got fixed and it is not in the red lines. Now we are done from the Magis application. Now you can just log in your Google account and check your Play Store will be device certified and if you download the checking safety net application from the play store just check you will see that safety net will get passed also this is how it is supposed to be done like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel keep sharing it with others thank you we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye